So I really think if you just use this one hashtag strategy for 30 minutes a day, that you would be blown away by how many leads that you will generate for your business. And you'll just be blown away by how, how your brand will start to grow, the number of followers, the number of people that are engaging with your comments uh, or with your posts with comments. Um, because again, you did that to them, they're gonna be looking at your stuff and they're more apt to then comment on the stuff that you're putting out that they resonate with. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh. Ha, all right. This is episode 179 of the Sales Wolves podcast. And uh, let's see, what can we title this podcast? I would say we could call this hashtag, hashtag. How about that? Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag sign, hashtag. I want to go over just a quick hack, a quick tip, um, but something that uh, for those of you that are in sales or are in business uh, can really use this tactic or use this tool uh, to grow your business, whether that's generating leads for potential clients or whether that's for recruiting, um, whatever that may be, for you to advance your business, to level up your business, how you can utilize social media and really can utilize it at any level, if you have zero personal brand or you just use social media for personal and family type friends stuff, um, how you can literally use this strategy today and start getting some momentum uh, for your business. And you know, I think it's good to, to kind of preface with a lot of this strategy is being intentional about not feeling intentional. And so in the way that you're engaging with people and interacting with people, it needs to feel organic. It needs to feel, uh, whether it's altruistic or not, it needs to feel genuine that you are actually trying to provide value and are actually trying to pour into people and are trying to create a conversation and are not just immediately coming at with them coming at them with some type of ask or some type of favor or some type of you know question that would lead them to oh that's why he's reaching out to me is because of this that's why she's reaching out to me is because of that so the strategy in and of itself uh, when I said hashtag hashtags because you're using hashtags but not using them in your posts I think it's important to do that if you're building a personal brand to gain some reach and some awareness and to build your following but specifically in this application of hashtags, it is following and searching through hashtags to find content to engage with. And so if we looked at, I'll just use a, a real life example. I'm obviously in the insurance industry. So if I go to hashtags on Instagram specifically, and if I looked at hashtags like insurance agent or hashtag insurance agency or hashtag insurance broker, if I go to that hashtag and I click on it, it's gonna pull up first all of the top posts for that particular hashtag. And then next to there, that is a button that says recent, and then it's gonna show all the recent posts that are views that hashtag underneath that tab. Uh, I always like to go to the recent and not the top, because if you think about it, the top posts, they've already got a ton of reach, they've already got a ton of comments, a ton of likes, and so you may get buried or lost inside those. But if you go to the recent, Number one, those are going to be the ones that have been most recently posted. So chances are those people are maybe even still on Instagram, but at the very least, we'll probably go back and check that post periodically over the next couple of days. Uh, but also because they're recent, they may not have as much traction. So if somebody puts a post out and it gets 10 likes and you're the 11th like, they're going to pay more attention to you being one of 11 than if you're posting on a comment or, or liking or posting on a po uh, commenting on a post or just liking a post that has hundreds of likes and tons of comments, you can get lost in that mix uh, and may not get uh, the attention that you're obviously wanting. So when you go through those recents, what I'll do is I'll just scroll through the posts and I'll try to find ones that I genuinely appreciate and that I have an actual opinion on or I have knowledge around the topic and then I will like that post and then I'll comment and I'll actually make this comment. Um, it's thoughtful. Uh, whatever they said on the graphic or in the copy, I'll, 
um, read that and actually have a thought that is a genuine, real thought that I think may be of value to them, and I'll put that in the comments. If you just did that one thing for 30 minutes to an hour a day, let's just start at 30 minutes a day. If you just did that 30 minutes every single day, here's what that typically looks like. If I spend 30 minutes searching through hashtags, liking and commenting, if I go back to Instagram an hour later, I will see a ton of people that have liked that comment, have replied to that comment, and now I am in basically a conversation with that person. So it's the perfect time to, to go ahead and maybe look at their Instagram stories and pro reply to one of those or just shoot them a DM and just find out a little bit about uh, a little bit more about what they do. Start creating some of those um, some of those conversations around the key things that you're looking for to maybe uncover a need, maybe to uncover um, something that you can provide a solution to or you can provide value to. But every single time, I'll do that for 30 minutes, I'll come back an hour later, and almost every one of those comments have been liked, responded to, and most of the time, a large percentage of those that liked and responded to the comment also followed me. So now that person's following me and they're seeing the content that I'm putting out. Um, but it's been remarkable how many times over the course of just a couple of hours doing that 30 minutes of going through hashtags and engaging in conversations with people in their posts has led to me actually having a phone conversation or a pretty in-depth conversation through DM with somebody from anywhere. Could be around the world, but um, very easily could be all across the US. And now you are building a relationship with someone. And who knows what that relationship could turn into. There could be future business opportunities down the road, but at the very least, it could be a potential customer of yours or a potential um, user of whatever service um, or product that you provide. Um, so I really think if you just use this one hashtag strategy for 30 minutes a day, that you would be blown away by how many leads that you will generate for your business. And you'll just be blown away by how, how your brand will start to grow, the number of followers, the number of people that are engaging with your comments uh, or with your posts with comments. Um, because again, you did that to them, they're gonna be looking at your stuff and they're more apt to then comment on the stuff that you're putting out that they resonate with. And just the environment that this can create for you on social media, for me, is so critical for you to not look at social media as a distraction, but use it for the incredible tool that it is. Uh, I've said this many times before, but it is a tool. That tool is purely and solely dependent on how you use it. So a hammer can be used to kill someone. It can also be used to build a house. Depends on how you use it. Social media can be used as an insane distraction and a horrible use of time, or it can be used as an incredible tool to engage in conversations organically with people that otherwise you would not be able to reach. And those relationships, who knows what they can turn into but at the very least, they could turn into someone that's interested in the product or service that you have to provide and the solutions that you have to provide and potentially business par partnerships and opportunities down the road um, that right now you can't even fathom because the opportunities are literally limitless when you start connecting with people and building real relationships. The last thing I'll say, do not take the easy route with this and start just going through and liking posts and putting the same comment like great post or awesome, thought or I agree or this everyone needs to hear this there is so much spam on these social media platforms where people are just mass commenting and mass messaging things uh, that you want to be different and the way that you can be different is by actually being thoughtful about by actually reading the post or watching the video taking that information in running it through your brain and then providing them with some value afterwards based on what you took away from that post. That's the way that this works. It does not work when it's just massive, just sending out 50, 100, 150 comments or messages to people that you know are just completely copy and pasted. It doesn't work like that way. Just as with most things in sales and in business, Sometimes the most efficient or sometimes the most effective things are not the most efficient. So it's going to take some time, but time block 30 minutes out of your day. You can do this while you're laying in bed. You can do this while you're on the toilet. You can do this while you're standing in line at a restaurant. You can do this in your spare time, but that 30 minutes of activity will create massive, massive, massive momentum. Um, and not only building your personal brand, but building your business as well. 
Uh, so I hope that helps. I hope you guys take that and use that. And I would love to know if you do, and I mean like if you do like today and tomorrow something happens. I want to hear about that. So shoot me a DM on Instagram. Make sure you're following me there. It's Tyler Jack Harris at Tyler Jack Harris on Instagram. But make sure you're following me there and shoot me a DM and tell me like, hey, I spent 30 minutes this morning doing exactly what you said, going through hashtags, engaging with those posts. And I got a client out of it last night. I uh, can't believe it actually worked. I would love to get some feedback from you guys on what you're seeing and what you're experiencing as you start going through these hashtags and really having some meaningful conversations with people from all over the world. So with that, guys, this is episode 179 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!